of the Apostle Good morning, everyone. So this will be the eighth week of our first quarter, and this will be the last week, technically, ng ating lessons. So this will be the uh, ending ng quarter one. Pero meron pa tayong dalawang quarter, ay dalawang linggo, na kung saan kailangan lang natin magtapos. Magkakaroon tayo ng summative activities at sa hapo ng mga dapat pang tapusin na mga activities sa mga susunod na linggo. But for now, we'll be uh, going straight to our lesson for the last lesson for the first quarter. And we'll be having polynomial equation. Okay, po. Share ko lang screen ko. Okay, share natin. Sa so, polynomial equation. Okay. Okay po, so this is polynomial equation. Okay po, polynomial equation. I think the word polynomial is not any more um, Greek to you. Um, Maladalas din na naririnig wala pa ng grade 7. And also the, the word equation. But let us define for first, ano ba natin masasabing uh, we have a polynomial equation? Dito, a polynomial equation is a special kind of algebraic ex equation where each term is a constant, a variable, or a product of a constant and a variable raised to a whole number. Please take note of the word whole number. It is raised to a whole number. Okay, po. Okay. Okay, po. It is raised to a whole number. Let's uh, define muna, tagalin muna natin yung equation. Let's define muna na polynomial. How do we know that a certain algebraic expression, di ba equation na, when we talk about equation, kasi it is just equated to a, a, a value. But kapag wala siyang equal sign, it is called an, an expression. So how do we know that we have a polynomial expression? And then natin, a polynomial expression states that it has a whole number exponent. Okay po? So, yung normal na natin, katulad nito, if we have 2x raised to 4, this is, a polyno this is a polynomial. It is a monomial, technically, in terms of number of terms. But seeing that we have an um we have an exponent of 4, and 4 is a whole number. Ibig sabihin yan, that is a polynomial. A polynomial yan. Polynomial yan. So, kailan, kailan hindi polynomial ang isang given? Uh, what are those examples? First one is if we have a negative exponent. Example, x equals 2x negative 2. Negative 2 is not uh, a polynomial. Ano pong ibig sabihin niyan? Anong klaseng algebra expression niyan? Technically, this, uh, this is not a polynomial. Not a polynomial. Kasi um, kitang-kita natin na may ang ating, pong, uh, ating exponent ay hindi whole number, kundi a, a negative number. And ang tawag po dito, if we will be changing its position at tatagalin natin ang pagiging negative, this will be 2 over x squared. Okay? 2 over x squared. Ang tawag po dito ay rational expression. This is rational. Kapag po, kapag po ang ating pong variable or letters ay nasa ilalim ng ng, ng um, or na, na place natin sa denominator side, it is what we call a rational number. So, the, so ibig sabihin, dalawa na agad yung bawal. Kapag nakita nyo na may negative exponent, ibig sabihin nun, hindi sa polynomial kasi rational siya. Kapag nakita nyo na may whole number nga tayo na exponent, pero nasa denominator side naman siya, ang tawag naman po doon ay um, rational exponent. So, hindi rin siya polynomial. Okay po? Hindi rin siya polynomial. Ano po yung example niya? Paano naman po kapag ang given sa atin ay 2x and, and we are more concerned on the variable letter. So, kahit ano pa yung, kahit ano pa ang talito, exponent ng, ng, ng ating numerical coefficient, wala tayong pakailang. We are focused on the variable or letter. Kapag ito, ano rin, 3 fourths. 
Is this polynomial? No, it's not. Not a polynomial. Okay. Bakit po siya hindi naging polynomial? Kasi hindi hindi whole number ang kanyang hindi whole number ang kanyang uh, exponent. Paano po ito pag inarrange natin? Ito ay katulad lang din ng 2 the fourth root of x cubed. If we will change this 3 fourth, ibig sabihin yan, that is the fourth root. It is the fourth root. Yung denominator, which is 4, that becomes the index number of the radical. That's fourth root of x cubed. X cube. So, ang tawag po dito ay radical expression. Radical expression. So, hindi rin siya polynomial. Okay po. So, yung mga bawal. So, kapag may negative or nasa ilalim ang, nasa ilalim ang x, or we have, an, uh, we have, tagito, we have a fraction or a decimal exponent, or our variable is inside the radical sign, ibig sabihin, hindi po sila ng mga polynomial. Mangyayari lang polynomial siya kap Pag malaya siya, nasa, uh, nasa numerator ang ating variable at whole number ang ating, pong, um, ang ating exponent. Okay po. I think, uh, I hope we are clear on that kung paano masasabi a uh, given as a polynomial. Paano naman na expression ay magiging equation? Simple lang. Kunyari, in-equate na natin siya equal to zero. Ibig sabihin, basta may equation at may equal sign na tayo, ibig sabihin, it's, a, it's an equation. Okay po, it's an equation. Okay? Clear. So, let's continue. So, let's continue. Here ko lang po. I hope all clear. Okay. So, ngayon, Ang, ang focus lang natin, how do we arrange our polynomials? So, it is very important for us to, to arrange our polynomials in correct order, in descending order. Paano pa natin sinasabing descending order? Kung mapapansin nyo po, this, is, um, this given is 5x raised to 4 minus 2x cubed plus 7x squared plus 8x minus 6. We start with the, the, with a given which has the largest exponent. Then descending is 4, 3, 2, then we have the one with hindi natin sinusulat. Then we have finally we have our constant. Yung constant po, then ang tawag natin to. Ang constant natin ay yung number na walang variable. Okay po. So ibig sabihin this is the correct arrangement. Okay po. This is the correct arrangement because we started from the highest degree going to the constant. Constant like and do low. So this is correct. This is the correct arrangement. And kapag tinanong, what is your leading, what is your degree? What is the degree of this um, expression or nyari ito equation? O zero. What is the degree of our equation? Our degree of equation is based on the um, exponent, the highest exponent that we have. Example, if this is 5x raised to 4, the degree of that is 4. Okay? Since single, we have a single variable, ibig sabihin yan, ito ang pinakamataas na ay 4. Uh, x to the 4. Example, kunyari lang, ang given sa atin, xy, xy minus y. Ano ang degree niyan? Ang degree niyan ay 2. Okay? Ang degree niya na ito. Bakit po siya naging degree ay 2? Kasi our leading, ito kasi, ay isang, ang pinang, makapansin natin, 1, 1, 1 lahat yan. Pero totoo, sa isang grupo kasi, meron tayong x raised to 1 and y raised to 1. If we have, dahil sila multiplied, na, di ba pag magkatabi sila, minumultiply sila. Kaya 1 plus 1 equals 2. So, ang degree niya ay equal sa 2. Okay, po. But this, in this in this situation, we have a single a variable which is x. It is very very easy for us to identify the degree. Kasi hanapin mo lang yung may pina, ano yung pinakamataas na exponent. So in this case, 5x raised to 4 minus 2x cubed plus 7x squared plus 8x minus 6 equals 0 has a degree of 4. What is your leading? What is your leading? Um, term. 
the leading term is the term, tandaan natin, term ha, a term ay grupo, ay term na may pinakamataas na exponent. In this case, our leading term ay 5x raised to 4. So, yung nasa unahan, which is 5x raised to 4. That's our leading term. Okay? And what is our leading coefficient? Ito na naman tayo. What is your leading coefficient? Coefficient. The leading, the leading coefficient is the numerical coefficient of the leading term. So we have the lead, uh, we have 5x raised to 4 as our leading term. So the leading coefficient will be our numerical coefficient, which is 5. Okay, ko. Our leading coefficient is equals to 5. Yeah. Let's continue. Let's have more example here. Let's erase this. Let's clear. Let's have another one. Sorry, po. Let's have this one. Oh, sorry. Okay. Equal zero. So we have our equi uh, uh, equation, which is 7x raised to 4 plus 5x squared plus 4x plus 6x9 x raised to 9 minus 4 equals 0. I think this is not yet arranged. It is very clear that it is not arranged because as you may see, nagsimula tayo sa 4 pero makikita nyo may na yung kitna. So in order to do that, we have to arrange it into descending order. Definitely, ang mauna natin ay 6x raised to 9 kasama yung number ha. So this is positive 6x9 pero dahil nasa unahad siya hindi na natin susulat ng positive. Then followed by anong sunod na 6x9 anong sunod natin yan ay 5x raised to 4 na. Wala siyang sign but this is positive that's 5x raised to 4 plus 5, 5x squared plus 4x minus 4 equals 0. So that is the correct arrangement of our polynomial equation. Ngayon, what is our leading term? Our leading term is this one, which is 6x9. That's our leading term. And what is our leading coefficient? The leading coefficient is the number in the leading term, which is 6. What is the degree? Ano naman yung degree natin? The degree is the exponent of the leading term, which happened to be 9. Okay po? So, yan yung mga dapat natin alamin. What is the degree? Since the highest exponent is 9, so we have the degree of 9. After arranging it, we see that the first term uh, na nasa unahan ay 6x9, so that is our leading term. And what is our leading coefficient? It is the numerical coefficient of the leading term. Kung ano yung number sa unahan ng leading term, siya ang numerical uh, leading coefficient. I think it's very clear in your mind. Okay, po. Let's continue. Okay, so given a, an equation, definitely there will always be a, a solution. There will be always a solution. Or, or sabi natin, um, may iba bang words and tawag, may iba bang words na ginagamit doon. It can be a solution, it can be zeros. Obviously, what will to make the equation equal to zero or balance to equal to zero? Then, uh, other called it roots. Po, so, para pareho yon find the solution, find the, the roots, or find the zeros. Isa po yun, tatlong yon So, in this case, um, um, it is it is easy for us to identify the solution of the given equation kasi it is in factor form. Okay po, in factor form. The first question muna ay ano yung degree ng ating equation? Ano yung degree? Okay po. 
it is easy for us to identify the degree kasi ilang bang x ang pinag-uusapan natin. Sa isang column, sa isang grupo, may isang x tayo. Sa pangalawang, kodo, uh, sa pangalawang grupo ay may x tayo. At pangalawang grupo ay may x tayo. So that's x times x. That's x squared times x is x cubed. So that is, ang pinakamakikita natin na degree ay 3. Ngayon, may when we have our degree, that the our expectation, since the given is three, we have the degree of three. I expected that in a expected, okay, natin, I expected na solution natin is at law. Kaya kaya nga tayo may ani, kaya nga po degree niya ay three. Kaya kasi ibig sabihin na may tatlong value tayo na niya expect tayo. So, ang expected solution natin ay tatlo. Paano natin malalaman yung solution niya? It is very important. It is very, it will be very easy for us to find the solution. The solution, the roots, or the the zeros of this equation. Kasi it is in factor form. Na hagupo na sila. All we have to do is take one group, then equate it to zero. Then we can find its solution. Example, we have the x minus 2 equals 0. We also have the 2x plus 3 equals 0. And lastly, we have x plus 1 equals 0. In that case, if we are to solve for this, this will be clear x equals 2. This x plus 1 will be x is equals to negative 1. Then I'll transpose po natin. And this one is 2x equals negative 3. Nilipat natin. But this is not just finished. We are looking for the value of x. So divided by 2. Divided by 2. So x equals negative 3 halves. So that becomes our solution. Ito na yung solution natin. Ano yung mga solution natin? The solution the solution natin ay we have 2, we have negative 1, and we also have negative 3 over 2. We have negative 3 over 2. So yan yung mga solution natin. Okay, let's have another one. Let's create this one. Okay po. So, katulad na ito, we have different equation here. Mapansin nyo sa number 1, it's x minus 1 times x plus 2 equals 0. So, it is very easy for us to identify the degree because it's x times x, that's x squared. So, we have x times x squared, so the degree is 2. We have two expected, we have two expected uh, roots. Ano yun? Ang roots natin ay <clears throat> x minus 1, x plus 2. So, this is x minus 1 equals 0. So, ilagay natin yan. So, this become x equals 1. And this one is x plus 2 equals 0. So, this is x equals negative 2. So, nakuha natin ay 1 at 2. Ano po yung number of real roots? Ibig sabihin yung makatotohan ng roots. Hindi siya square root. Yung nakuha talaga natin na as in a solution. So, ibig sabihin, madali naman natin nakita yung solution. Um, 1 at negative 2. There will come a time kasi na parang hindi mo na ma-factor ang isang given equation. Ibig sabihin, kahit may expected tayo, kunyari po ay x squared plus 1 equals 0. Okay po, kunyari ay about x squared plus 1 equals 0. x squared plus 1 equals 0. Kapag kina... Pwede ba kina? Saan yung example nito? x squared plus... Nari. x squared plus x plus 6 equals 0. Yan. x squared plus 6 x squared plus x plus 6 equals 0. This is not factorable. This is not factorable. Kahit ang gawin natin, hindi natin siya mag-factor. Maliban na lang kung gagamit tayo ng quadratic equations. Yung, uh, um, 
in that case, magkakaroon tayo mga square root, which is not a real roots. So, ibig sabihin, if the given is, even though we have expected, we have a degree of 2, and we're expecting 2 roots, hindi ibig sabihin na yung expectation natin mamimit. Lagi nang maaring hindi siya mamimit, ibig sabihin, dahil hindi natin siya complete, wala siyang real roots. Okay po, okay po tayo doon. Next, let's have this 2x times x minus 3 times x plus 2 equals 0. It is already factored. So that's x times x times x. That will be x cubed. So we have the degree of 3. Tatlong x ang meron tayo. So paano po ito nakukuha? Ano nangyari dito sa 2x? The 2x kasi is, 2 is, is a 1 group equals 0 na agad. So that is kapag inilipad natin, kaya i-divide natin siya ng kaya i-divide natin siya ng 2, it will be 0. So, one real roots natin ay yung 0. Then, we have x minus 3 equals 0. Then, x equals 3. So, that's another roots or, or solution. And another one is x plus 2 equals 0. So, this will be x equals negative 2. So, that's negative 2, 0, 3. So, lahat nakuha naman natin ng matiwasay. So, we, yung degree natin na 3 na expected natin ay tatlong, tatlong roots natin na meet natin. So, ang ating tat, meron tayong tatlong real roots. Last one. So, um, this one is x plus 2 cube times x minus 2. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Ang ibig sabihin kasi nito is x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 2. Tatlong beses natin, itinayim siyang x plus 2. Sa so, hapa tayo magtatayins ng x minus 2. So, 0. So, ibig sabihin, ilang x yan? 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4 as our degree kapag nagsama-sama natin yan. Ngayon, ano itong ibig sabihin negative 2 multiplicity of 3? Nangyayari yan kapag may umuulit na roots. Example nito, yung x plus 2, yung x plus 2 equals 0, that will be x equals negative 2. Negative 2. Which is mangyayari din dito sa pangalawa at sa pangatlo. Ilang beses, ilang beses tayo magkakaroon ng ng negative 2, tatlong beses kasi tatlo yung pare-pareho. So, ibig sabihin, negative 2, which is our roots, multiplicity of 3, ibig sabihin, may tatlong negative 2. But you can also write that as negative 2, negative 2, negative 2. Okay? So, itong negative 2, multiplicity of 3, ibig sabihin yan, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2. Then, the last one will be x minus 2, equals 0 and this will be x equals positive 2. So, nakuha natin yung tatlo then we have our roots. Okay, po tayo to. Ngayon, there are moments there are moments na hindi hindi siya naka-factor. So, ano ang gagawin natin para makuha natin yung, yung factor na yun? Okay. Anong gagawin natin para makakatulad nito? 2x squared plus x minus 3 equals 0. Uh, alam lang natin, ang degree natin, ang degree natin ay, ang degree natin ay 2. So, we're expecting, expecting roots. We're expecting natin ay, expecting natin na number of roots ay dalawa rin magdalawa tayong iniintay ng roots. So, paano natin mahanap yun? Paano natin mahanap yung roots na yun? So, in this case, it will, if you are good in factoring, that will be good. But, if you're not good in factoring, we can use the idea of um, yung ating pong uh, synthetic division. Paano po kagamitin yung synthetic division? Okay po, it is very clear here that we have, we have to arrange this first. It is arranged na ba siya? 2x squared plus x minus 3. It is arranged already. It's complete. It's complete. 2, 1, and we have, so we have 2 here. We have 1 here, and we have negative 3 here. 
Okay. So, the question now, ano ang gagamitin natin? Ano ang gagamitin natin para makita natin yung ang, ang goal natin ay magkaroon tayo ng zero, magkaroon tayo ng zero next na technically, kailangan natin ng hadal ng factor, we have the zero exponent. Okay po. Eh, pero napakarami yung number sa mundo. Paano natin ma-limit? Paano natin ma-limit yung ating pong um, um mga numbers na pwedeng gamitin. Doon papasa po yung possible roots. Okay? Ano yung mga possible roots natin? Okay. The possible roots will come from P over Q. The P is the last term or, or our constant and Q is our leading, leading coefficient. Our last term is 3. Ito yun. 3. And our last first term is 2. Okay po. We have 3 and 2. Our main idea is in the first is to identify what are the factors of 3 and what, what are the factors of 2. We have 3 times 1. Meron pa ba? Wala na. In terms of 2 naman, we have 2 at saka po 1. Those are the factors. Given that, Given that, dyan tayo gagawa ngayon ng mga ating mga combination. Ano yung mga combination natin? It's 3 over 1. 3 over 1 is 3. That it will be positive, negative 3. 1 over 1. So that's positive 1. So that's positive, negative 1. Then we also have 3 over 2. So that's positive, negative 3 over 2. And last one is 1 over 2. Ayan yung mga combination natin, 1 of our positive, negative, 1 half. Ibig sabihin, ilan yung pwede natin itry? We can have 8, positive 3, neg negative 3, positive 1, negative 1, positive 3, negative 2, positive 1, pos uh, negative 2. Uh, positive negative one half para sa positive negative one half. So it would be better as na no, may fraction. It would be better for us na hindi natin gagamitin muna yung fraction. Let's focus first on the um, whole number. Mahuli natin yung fraction. So just like the ordinary one, let's try first the positive, the lowest, which is the positive negative one. So let's try first the one. Katulad ng ginagawa natin sa synthetic division, at ibinawa pa natin, 2 times 1, that's 2. 1 times 2, 1 times 2 ay 2. 3, then 3 times 1 is 3, and that will be 0. So, nakataong, nakuha agad natin yung, nakuha agad natin yung given na gusto natin makuha. Ngayon, hindi tayo matatapos doon. Ang gagawin natin, i-continue natin hanggang 1-0 ang matitira. 1-0 ang matitira. So, ibig sabihin, iisip tayo ng mga ano pang number. Hanggat tama ang number, pwede nyo siyang gamitin. Example, 1. Baba natin ang 2. 2 times 1 ay 2. 2. Ibig sabihin nito, hindi. Mali. Dapat ang... Um, Dalawang number na lang matitira at zero yung isa. So, mali ito. So, hindi siya pwede ang, ang, hindi pwede ang 1. So, let's try negative 1. 2 times negative 2, so that will be negative 2. So, hindi rin. So, erase natin. Kung gagamitin naman natin ang 3, let's try 3. Let's try 3. Bring down 2. Diba bring down yan? 2 times 3, that will be 6. So, mali din. Mali din. So, try lang tayo ng try. Let's try negative 3. Let's try negative 3. 2 times is negative 6. Hindi rin. So, mali din. So, ngayon, dahil no choice na tayo, gagamitin na natin ang mga given. Let's try positive 3 halves. Positive 3 halves. Let's turn positive 3 halves. Okay. 
So that will be 2 times 3, 2 times 3, that will be 6, divided by 2, that will be 3. This will be 6. So, mali. Mali pa rin. So, let's try negative. Let's try the negative 1. So, that's 2 times negative 3, that's negative 6, divided by 2, that's is negative 3. Nakuha natin. So, ibig sabihin, dadalawa na titirang number, dadalawa na yung titirang number, at zero na yung isa, ibig sabihin, tapos na tayo. This is our solution. So, ibig sabihin, our solution or our roots, our solution or our roots are 1 and negative 3 over 2. Bagos, solution natin siya. Ano yung factors niya? Ang factors, kawin lang natin siyang factors. Ay, ipasok lang natin. So, x, palitari lang natin ang sign. x minus 1 times x plus 3 halves. Okay? Yan. So, yun po ang aking yung factor. Okay. So, yan ang factor natin. Okay. Tignan po tayo. Let's have another one. Let's have another one. Tignan natin to. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Let's try this one. 2x raised to 4 plus 7x cubed plus 4x squared minus 7x minus 6 equals 0. Okay. 2x to 4 plus 7x cubed plus 4x squared minus 7x minus 6 equals 0. So, ibig sabihin nito, ito yung ating pong, uh, ito po yung ating pong given. I think this is already arranged. And the, and the first thing is to arrange the given. Then, uh, gagamitin natin ang ang synthetic division. So that will be 2, 7, 4, negative 7, negative 6. Okay. So what is what is our degree? Our degree is 4. So we are expecting 4 solutions na hanapin natin ngayon. Out of that for, for solution, paano na natin, hanapin natin yung possible roots natin? Our possible, possible roots or possible solution ay magagaling sa, sa P over Q, which is 6 over 6 po yung dulo natin, then 2. Ano ang 6? It can be 6 times 1 or 3 times 2. Tama na. Then 2 naman ay 1 times 2. In that case, iisahin natin yung combination. Arrange na lang natin para medyo maayos. That's 1 times, ilagay natin sa dulo si 6. Okay. Ayan. So, kuha tayo ng combination. Dito mo na 1. 1 over 1 is positive negative 1. Then we have 3 over 1 is positive negative 3. Then 2 over 1, that's positive negative 2. Then 6 over 1, that's positive negative 6. We are not yet finished. Pwede naman itong paganto. So we have positive negative one half, then three over two, that is positive negative three halves. Then next we have two over two, which is one. Ito na rin yung one. Then six over two, that will be three. So ibig sabihin, ilan yung possible roots natin? One, two, three, four, five, six times two. 12. We have 12 different possible rules na pwede natin pagpilian. Ngayon, dito na papasok yung pinatawag natin trial and error. Let's start with positive 1. 1. Okay. So, ang sabi natin, 
Baba alam tayo, that will be 2. 2 times 1, that will be 2. Then this will be 9. 9 times 1, that's 9. 9 plus 4, 4 that's 13. 13 times 1, 13 times 1 is 13. Then this will be positive 6. Then 6 times 1, that will be 6. And that we got it's 0. So, ibig sabihin, sa solution natin, sa solution, pero natin isa nakita, which is 1. Ang factor natin, in terms of factor, in terms of factor, meron na tayong x minus 1. Okay? We have to look for the others. Sabi nga natin, hanggat hindi ka nagkakamuli sa number na yun, you have to continue. So let's try another one. Sorry. We have to continue. Baba ulit ang 2. So 2, 2 times 2, that's 11. 11 times 1 is 11. This will be 24. 24 times 1 is 24. This will become 30. So ibig sabihin, mali. So erase tayo ngayon. Okay? So ibig sabihin, hindi na pwede natin gamitin ang 1 ulit. Let's try negative 1. If that will, will will take an effect. 2 times negative 1, that's negative 2. 9 minus 2, that will be 7. 7 times negative 1, that's negative 7. 13 minus 7, that will be 6. Tama. Then 6 times negative 1, that will be negative 6. And that will be 0. Nakuha natin yung isa pa. Okay po, hindi tayo dyan. So, let's continue ulit. So, in ibig sabihin, meron tayong negative 1 as another solution. Then, another solu another factor natin ay x plus 1. Okay, let's continue. Dahil, di pa, dahil ginamit natin ulit negative 1, we will try again negative 1. Kung tatama pa rin siya. 2 times negative 1 ay negative 2. Then 5 minus 2, that will be 5. 5 times negative 1, that's negative 5. So, hindi na. Sala na siya. So, hindi na pwede gamitin ang negative 1. Let's try 2. Kasi ang sunod na pinakamalaki ay 2. Diba? Let's try 2. 2 times 2, 4, that will be 11. 11 times 2, 22, so hindi rin. Let's try negative 2. Let's try negative 2, datama negative 2. We have 2 times negative 2, that is negative 4. Tama, negative 4. Then this will be 3 as positive. 3 times negative 2. That's negative 6, and that is 0. So, nakuha natin yung isa pa. So, this is negative 2. Negative 2. Negative 2, and our factor will be x plus 2. Isa na lang, dadawa na sila eh. Kailangan na, uh, tatlo na lang sila. Kailangan natin maging dalawa, na sila yung isa. So, in this case, I think it is very obvious that we can try this one. Since parang positive at parang zero, that's right, negative three halves. Kung sa sakto. So that will be two. Two times three, negative three. It's negative six. Divided by two is negative three. So zero na agad. So tatawa na natin ha. So ibig sabihin, ito na yung factors. Ito na yung solution natin. Another solution will be negative 3 over 2. And our factor is x plus 3 halves. Okay. 
po tayo. So, yan ang ating po continuous um, continuous po ang ating um, synthetic division hanggang umating tayo na dadalawa na lang yung number sa dulo at zero pa yung isa. Okay po. Dito po tayo dyan. So, let the last the last one the last thing that we will be having on polynomial equation paano, paano naman kapag binaliktad kapag binaliktad naman find a polynomial equation in standard form whose roots are 1 to negative 3 ibig sabihin the roots naman na given ang hanapin na, na, naman natin ay polynomial so this is much easier the one kasi given naman ang ating roots as 1, 2 and negative 3 we can change that into factor which is x minus 1 times x minus 2 times x plus 3. Yan. So we have we just have to multiply. So in this case, example, we start with x minus 1 times x minus 2. So pwede kang mag-foil. So mag-foil tayo, that's x times x is x squared. Then x times negative 2, that's negative 2x. Ito yun. Then negative uh, 1 times x is negative x. Then negative 1 times negative 2, that's positive 2. So kapag minultiply natin to, it will be x squared minus 3x plus 2. So, ito pa lang yun. Ito pa lang yung darawang yun. So, after that, we have to continue multiplying with x plus 3. So, it will be better na kagaya ng no, normal natin multiplication. Ilagay natin sa ganito. 3x plus 2 times x plus 3. Yeah. So, let's start with positive 6. That's 3 times 2. Then, positive 3 times the negative x, that's negative 9x. Then, positive 3 times x squared, that's positive 3x squared. Okay. Then, let's try the x naman. x times 2, that's positive 2x. x times negative 3x, that's negative 3x squared. Negative 3x squared. Then, x squared times x is x squared. Then add positive 6. Then nine, negative 9 plus 2, that will be negative 7. Negative 7x. Then positive 3, 3 minus 3, that I'm going cancel. Then we have x cubed. So this is our equation. Then again, we po natin ng equals 0. Okay po tayo. So multiplication lang siya. Okay po. Okay po tayo dyan. Yan. So that ends our first quarter. So tomorrow I'll be sending you I'll be sending you kung ano ang sasagutan nyo. Okay po. Kung ano ang sasagutan nyo. So I hope um, clear naman yung discussion. If you have any question, just um, send, me, uh, send me your questions through our chat. So our chat, so I can answer that. So thank you very much. Bye bye po.